what's good youtube welcome back to the channel thank you guys for tuning in to this video uh today we're talking about uh, my cfl tryouts is it worth it for those who want to kind of jump into the cfl training and uh did i get some film of the cfl tryout well uh let's let's see what babe got let's let's look right here all right yeah um that's pretty much it so if you guys didn't know you watched the last video and you'll understand um babe wasn't feeling good um and she tried to film from the car and uh yeah this is pretty much all i got and sadly was i disappointed yes i was i was like dang you was that sick you got messed up the night before you know what i'm saying and uh you know I, I kept it um you know we were out with yg and uh i kept it you know i had a few did i have some drinks yes was i drunk no woke up got out did my thing um starting now with you know the trials uh you go there uh, there is a fee for the trials there's a hundred dollar fee and you know back then i was like man you gotta you know pay a fee to try out blah blah and as a coach or as an organization i understand that because hell if i even if i wasn't even interested in playing i'm pretty sure people you know i would just walk up and just be like oh what i wonder what i can do and you know what i'm saying just random people would be in the tryout you know so i feel like a hundred dollars is something you have to commit to um and you, you feel like you really believe in yourself to get that uh, opportunity um but it's a hundred dollar fee um and i went out for linebacker this time started out with a 40 i mean not no actually the 40 was last Started out with my short shuttle my short shuttle has always been like like average you know it's not not something that i've ever really trained on it was a 427 or something like that and um not not anything crazy um my my short shuttle is once again it's just not something i've worked on you know versus my broad jump vertical jump bench of course and 40 um six cone drill uh or three cone drill i believe what was it is it one two three it's three cone drill i believe something like that um i, I kind of work on i like doing a, a three cone drill or six cone drill whatever it is where you go up back up around and back uh, that drill um but yeah starting out once again the short shuttle was a 427 and i'm not too crazy about those numbers for that um or it was a 427 or four something something seven uh, i was in the it was in the, that lower four or something range um but next off was the broad jump and for the broad jump um i, I jumped like a 10 one for the broad jump and we were going against the wind because it was wind it was so windy that day we were out in texas ranch in fort worth and it was crazy windy and i was going against the wind he wouldn't let us go with the wind and uh our first jump was like a 10-1 i was like like 10-1 i mean i know I'm, I'm i'm heavier than usual but you know what i'm saying not at least like a 10 or you know what i'm saying like you know I, I, I was going for an 11 you know um and that was the first try 10-1 second try after i kind of got a feel of all right what i need to do looked at where i need to jump i was like hey can you like i, I need i'm a visual person i need like a visual marker of of where I, you know where i want to be and after i asked like you know like where's 11 boom he showed me jumped and uh ended up being from a 10-1 to a 10-10 and the guy that was like um my data on the sheets was like how the hell did you that's such a big difference like how did how'd you do that and i was just i mean like like i said i'm a visual you know after that first jump i kind of seen like all right you know and that's just kind of how i am like i i feel like i don't know how to go max effort from the jump that's why i hate being first and stuff i hate doing something first you know i need like two tries to do it so i know exactly you know like, all right i need to give it more you know am i giving it enough effort um and then so after the broad jump went to our 40s and for the 40 uh, once again we ran with the wind and without the wind uh, with the wind it was a four five two but he said i ended up stopping like like half a second too uh too early um or something so i'm i'm putting myself in the four four ranges uh probably like a four four eight or four four seven 
something like that because uh when i saw i think they had some film thing and i saw and um that was at least that was definitely in a 4-4 range um for the with the wind and while i'm going against the wind it was like a oh no bro it was weird like going against the wind really made that much of a difference it was like a 4-6 going against the wind and i was like there's no way it could be that much of a difference i don't know like cfl fingers cfl fingers slow let me tell y'all cfl coaches them fingers is slow like nfl or something like that because all right if you do laser time laser time is from takeoff to first step past the line cfl those coaches they wait until you're fully past the line when you take off until you're fully past the um the 40 line you know nfl is like first first joint at the 40 at the uh at the finish line cfl is full body past the finish line so a lot of times you know so that four six should have been like a four uh, probably like a four or five and that four or five definitely would have been in a four four if it was first joint past the 40 line um you know because in in track you know when you're when you're running in track what is it they don't they don't wait until your full body's passed it's the first part of your body that's past that line um so technically i'm i put myself in the 44 range for the 40 um for sure um honestly goodly on, on my best day for like a 445 you know at 240 which is great for me, you know, because the last time I ran a 40 was a 447. Uh, and that was at two, 225 or something like that uh, pounds. So I'm almost 20 pounds heavier and I'm faster in a in a way, you know. Um, so I'm so I'm happy about that. You know, you know, I, I would what I want to be in the low four four, four four one, four three nine type. Hell yeah, I would. But I'm being realistic. So with CFL, how I see it is um, a lot of those guys, like I watched the CFL combine. A lot of those guys aren't running four fives and below a lot. A majority of people are not running four fives and below. Majority average was like four nines. I mean, I'm four six, you know, four sixes. And a four six is considered like good for like CFL. So, you know, do I expect a call or something? Uh, yeah, regardless of me not playing for a while, I definitely expect something. Um, you know, I know they my agent said that they talked um to him and are evaluating, you know, the combine and stuff. So I, I should at least get like a, a training camp, you know what I'm saying? Uh for you know, for linebacker and and how the CFL plays, they're linebackers. Nobody is above two thirty nobody is above two twenty five. So I, I I remember the coach saying that the game plays fast and the game plays fast and it's pretty much non-stop so you have to be in shape perfect i just came out of rugby what what you can't get more faster and and more in shape than rugby so i was like this is great you know i'm definitely ready for this um and even at my weight i was playing rugby at 240 so i can definitely handle that you know we still get break times you still get 20 seconds um to, to run a play and stuff like that so i still get you know more rest than i would in rugby um, but they did say that their linebackers play a little bit more like free safeties. And even still at 240, my vert is still, you know, high, high 30s, 39 into into 40. I'm pretty sure I can still pull off a 40 inch vert um, at my weight. Could it be better for me to go down to 230 if they want me to? Then that will be the process. But I'm trying to it's always for me. It's always been bigger, faster, stronger, bigger, faster, stronger, you know, because I got to go up against those linemen. And I still have the speed to go up against those wide receivers, running backs, and things like that. So it's, it's that's just how it always is for me. Because when it comes to NFL, you know, it's bigger, faster, stronger. You got those linebackers. Those guys are, and some of them are in the 230s, but, uh, you know, a lot are still in the 240s. Running 4.4s, four 4.5s, you know, with with 35 plus inch verts and stuff like that. So I have to be able to keep up with those guys. Um, but that's pretty much the uh whole rundown of the combine kind of type of uh training and then we went on into the uh, drills which the drills went good man um i enjoyed just kind of like being aggressive again we were pretty much doing like edge rushing it was a lot of edge rushing uh going against the o-line um no pads all just rugby like uh which i was used to i was used to being physical 
with no pads on and um yeah i mean I, I feel like i have an advantage especially you know the the year and a half or so that i played uh rugby i feel like i have an advantage um you know just be from going with that you know not being scared of contact and just kind of i get to put on pads and i get to just ball out you know what i'm saying and uh, be free that's, that's the thing about you know that now i see you know trying to go play run i mean linebacker i can just like use my let's just be a beast just like use my athleticism be free and, and just track track down the ball and um i can think i i think i can really provide you know a team with a, a, a lot of quality in that and uh so that's pretty much it for the um for how the cfl thing wins and that was for what team was that for the blue bombers um winnipeg blue bombers and they won the uh championship twice two years in a row so uh yeah man i'm just trying to be a part of something uh on the 7th i have to go to houston and this combine is for xfl cfl usfl um and possible nfl um a and c something like the a and c combine um that i'll be at so hopefully that one goes good oh so, yeah this is pretty much the update of what's been going on i uh, hope you guys enjoyed you know listening to uh my pretty much i mean my, my update <laughs> you know what i'm saying so don't forget to like uh, the video subscribe to the channel more sports stuff coming and um finally got like a little video guy that i'll probably be able to film and stuff again so we got some collabs and other you know cool stuff coming along and trust me you know i'm, I'm doing my vlogs and stuff still but i'm bringing back my fitness stuff you know it'd probably be like two fitness videos and a vlog kind of balance so I uh, hope you guys are looking forward to that and catch you guys later.